Hey, good evening. Man, it has been ages since I've done an evening video. Uh, but I bring this one to you tonight because um, Obon is officially over for me. I'm back at work. I had three days off. Um, but in Tokyo, Obon is a rager. Uh, people are having barbecues and parties and hikes and nomikais and nomihodais, which is drinking parties and all you can drinks um, every day. And my body's exhausted and I needed a day off to relax. I felt pretty terrible. I was back at work today. I was feeling pretty bad when I woke up um, this morning, just exhausted from um, eating and drinking three days straight uh, too much. So just relaxed today, came home early, uh, no, no beverages for me, um, which means I'm home well and early enough to uh, make a little video. So um, hope everyone had a happy Obon. Now I, I mentioned a little bit about Obon um, in my previous video where, uh, you know, People pay respects to their dead Japanese relatives. The spirits, their spirits of their their um, fallen fallen. <laughs> this is not a war movie. Uh, the spirits of their dead relatives are closest to, I guess, we, what you call our dimension uh, during Obon. And um, I don't make fun of that because I've gotten more to talk about ghosts. Um, I hope I don't. I hope that none of this <laughs> sounds like I'm making fun of anything, uh, because I'm a believer. Um, now, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not a big believer in most things. Here I'm going to go offending more people. Um, I'm not religious. I don't believe in God. Uh, I don't believe in you know a lot of things that I can't see. And I would normally so somebody who feels that way would normally think that ghosts are rubbish, right? Um, but I've I've seen ghosts. Now I know some of you will scoff, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I've seen ghosts twice in Hawaii. You don't see them everywhere, but ghosts are popular here in Japan. The ghost stories are good. A lot of people have claimed to either have heard or seen ghosts. And um, I have. I have. <laughs> Think of that what you will. I know that you. I, I, it goes against my better judgment to believe in something that doesn't make any sense. Um, so I wouldn't tell anybody to, but I've seen ghosts, so I'm going to believe in them. Um, plus, I love ghosts, and I think they're awesome. Uh, and um, today, uh, every now and then, an email will come through, a work email will come through that says, like, hey, we've got an empty branch that needs a teacher on some certain day, and if it's my your off day, you can grab it. Uh, now, usually, I'll maybe think about it, and then forget about it, and not pick it up. But today, it was at... Bum, 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 the haunted branch. Now, I don't know why they claim that this branch is haunted, but I've heard that. The staff, the teachers, they all say that this branch is haunted. So I picked it up like that. I sent my email probably, uh, you know, less than one minute after it arrived saying, yes, I'll work there because I want to see if I can meet a ghost. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love haunted stuff. I love ghost stories. Um, Plus, I've never had, like, a really scary experience with a ghost. Um, I have heard a ghost's voice once. I've seen a ghost twice, but both times were on the side of the road. Um, and I was in a car. It was the same ghost both times. I'm not crazy. And I had a witness. There was two of us. Um, I, I am crazy, aren't I? Okay. Uh, start over. Um, there it has been um, a funny ghost story in the news today. Uh... Now, somebody showed me this news story. I don't have the link, um, and I didn't have the chance to read it myself, but I was shown this story of a Uniqlo ad that ran recently uh, with the features a girl standing on one leg. Now, the other leg is lifted behind her, so you can't see it at all. It, it appears as if she has no leg. Now, in Japan, ghosts don't have legs. And apparently, some people complained about this, and Uniqlo, which is a popular... Uh, clothing store company in Japan, they put out an apology for running that ad. Pff, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing that, that people would actually complain about the fact that a ghost, a, a, a girl, a, a female young model appeared in an ad that people thought 
uh, looked like she might be a ghost because she didn't have a leg. Um, now, like I said, I kind of buy into ghost talk uh, because it, it's fun, it's scary, uh, and I get excited about it. Plus, I haven't seen a scary ghost before, so maybe that helps. Uh, some of you tormented souls out there uh, might uh, be offended by the fact that I like ghosts. Um, uh, so, that was hilarious. Now, uh, next thing on the agenda. Uh, I was in front of Ikebukuro Station today. Uh, I just had a little dinner. Uh, I was um, having a little coffee before I went home from work. And I got approached by a family. And uh, they just asked me if I speak Japanese, and I said yes. And um, then they were like, do you want to come down to our shrine and try on a kimono? And I was like, eh, uh, eh, <sighs> mm. And uh, I realized, wow, I think, I'm pretty sure that they are using like a fun kimono ploy to get me to come see their religious thing. And I politely declined them in the way that I had heard a million times when I was a Mormon missionary. Uh, I was like, ah, uh, 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 I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know, I, I've got plans tonight. Ooh, secret, my plans are making a YouTube video to, at home. Uh, and, uh, I, I politely turned them down and I realized, oh my gosh, am I a monster? People turned me down like this all the time. So I want to talk a little bit about turning people down in Japanese uh, because there are, there's a whole range of politeness levels at which you can do it <laughs> and common words that are used. Now, uh, the funniest to me, uh, when, when I was like a Mormon missionary, uh, you know, outside of pretty much everybody's house and apartment, there is a speaker box. So you push a button, a little bell rings inside, and people say, uh, uh, hi. And then you would say your spiel about who you are. For me, I would, it would have gone something like, oh, hello, we're missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Have you ever thought about the meaning of life? Uh, which is a pretty big uh, bombshell to drop on somebody. Uh, but we didn't know any better. <laughs> and then uh, the, the most common reply would be kekko des kekko des we heard it time and time again which just means no thanks i decline you know uh real simple no <laughs> no uh and uh so we coined the we coined the speaker boxes kekko boxes because that was pretty much what we always heard you push the button on the kekko box and Kecko comes out. Uh, a lot of times, and when I, was, when I was new to missionary life, the one that would confuse me the most often was E this, E this, um, because E means good. And I'm like, good, good, they think, they think we're good? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting until you learn the nuances of the language and it means, ah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. <laughs> E this, <laughs> so uh, that's a that's a tough lesson to learn. But whatever, it doesn't take long when you get a, when you get rejected as often as a Mormon missionary does. It doesn't take long to figure out the nuances of being rejected. All right, uh, next, okotowari shimasu. Okotowari shimasu. Now, uh, this is much more polite. I politely decline your request. <laughs> um, uh, so the, um, the dictionary form of the word here is kotowaru, kotowaru. Now to, um, which, which just means to decline. Now, when you're making something more um, nice and polite, take that verb, verb, that verb is kotowaru, right? You put an O at the beginning, um, you drop the ru and replace it with ri and then add shimas at the end. So, o kotowari shimas. Um, and now I've made kotowaru, mm, kotowaru into ah, o kotowari shimas. The meaning is just the same. They don't want to talk to you. 
um, if that if that's me hearing it, which it always was, right? Um, so they do, they still don't want to talk to me, but eh, at least they said it nicely, right? Uh, well, um, I hope I hope that's helpful because you can use this too. Um, uh, people are always handing things out on the street in Japan, uh, whether it's whether it's fans or tissues, which they're great to get every now and then. Sometimes you really need some tissues, or it's blazing hot, like, and you need a fan. But sometimes you've already got a fan. So, kekko des, i des, okotowari shimasu. If you're feeling pretty nice, you might actually get a laugh out of that one. Uh, so, uh, give it a try. Um, 